Hey there ladies, welcome back to my channel, it's Manisha here. So today I'm sharing with you a Beauty Big Bang review. Um, Beauty Big Bang is an online store that sells loads and loads of different types of nail art products. So I've just got a selection of things that have been sent to me. I've got some um, beautiful stamping gels. I've got some 3D metallic gels. I've already reviewed um, four of the other colors that are in this range. These are colors number five and six, I'll link that video for you probably up in the top right hand corner and right at the end of the video too and then I've also got a, um, a stamping plate as well so first up with the um, stamping gels they're eight milliliters in size um, I've got four of the colors here so I've got black get it in focus and they've got you know like the um, all the ingredients and things like that and warnings and whatnot on the back of the um, packaging and they just have a fine tip nozzle so they're basically ready to use they're not sealed or anything like that now because these are a gel product um, they will need to be cured in the lamp so I'm going to be doing um, swatches of these and I've got some like nail tips that are ready to go so I'm going to be using those on there. And then these ones here are, are like painting gels. So they're um, eight milliliters in size. There's currently, um, okay, so these are the other four colors. So there's um, silver, gold, rose gold, also like a copper color and blue. So those four plus those two make the six that are available. So I've already done a review for those. Obviously, I'll link that for you, like I've mentioned before. And then I've got a stamping plate. Now, I will link all the product codes and everything that I'm using today down at the bottom of the screen as well as I'll have direct links and I have got a 10% off discount code for Beauty Big Bang so please be sure to use that for your 10% off so this um, beautiful plate this is one of the uh, square plates it's got six full-size images on there and it's a marbled themed plate so I'll be using this with the um, stamping gels and um, then I'm going to actually go in and do a little bit of um, metallic sort of um, 3D art on there as well. We'll see how we go with that. And I will be using a, I've got a Beauty Big Bang um, stamper that I've, you know, purchased at one other time. And then I've also got the um, scraper, so I'll be um, using those two products with it. So just stay tuned till the end. I'll um, do a bit of a voiceover. I'll fast forward the next part of the um, video, but I'll explain everything that I'm doing um, too, so you know. So as with all stamping plates, just make sure you remove the protective film from the front. Here's a little bit of a close-up. You can pause at any time if you want a closer look at these images. So I'm going to be starting off with the black stamping gel. So with stamping gels, um, a little bit does go a long way. You don't need to use a lot to cover the image. You can actually keep what's on the scraper and reuse it because it's a stamping gel. Um, it won't actually dry out. Now I wanted to show you what this image looks like on a piece of paper. So I'm just stamping it there and you can see it's transferred beautifully. Now there will always be a residue on the stamper and it's best just to um, actually re-stamp that onto your pad just to get rid of it. I find that's the best way to clean off your stamper. So I've just picked that image up again and I'm going to be stamping that onto the nail. Now you can see I didn't actually apply any more gel polish. I just used what was on the scraper and you can actually do that. So if you've got enough left on the scraper, don't waste any more gel. Just use what's there. And if you do need to add more, just add a little bit. So I'm just going to move on to the next image and then that's going on another tip there. It's transferred beautifully I really do like these um, marble images now like I mentioned before just use a pa paper pad or something like that just to clean off your stamper head and um, with your plate you can just go ahead and clean it with some acetone or polish remover and it will, will come off and um, get into the habit of making sure you do keep it clean um, as it is a gel product and you don't want it curing on your um, on your plate because otherwise you won't be able to use it again after that. So here's the white stamping gel that's um, picked up beautifully and I'm just going to be popping on to a black pop stick and as you can see that's actually um, transferred beautifully there's no gaps or anything like that and it's very opaque. Here's another image in white I'm just going to be popping that onto some purple. 
Next up I'm moving on to the royal blue. So this is quite a dark um, looking blue um, in the tube. But anyway, when you pop it on the nail, it sort of becomes like a royal blue. It's really um, quite nice, a nice um, sort of deep, rich colour. Just going to stamp it on this one here. And um, that's transferred lovely as well. And I thought I'd just pop it over a different alternative sort of colour. So I've got it gone with mustard. And it looks a little bit darker. So I think the darker the base, the darker the polish will look. Next up I've got red, so I'm just going to be using this sort of wood looking um, image here in the top right hand corner. It's picked up beautifully too. Just going to transfer that onto the nail. And then last but not least I've got this image here and I've just popped that onto a green base. So I'm also going to be trying something else. So what I've done is applied a matte top coat on that blue um, um, pop I keep calling them pop sticks, they're actually nail tips. Um, and I've just popped on that stamping image and cured it for like five seconds in the lamp. So I haven't fully cured it, I've just kind of left it at five seconds. And what that does is it leaves a bit of a tacky um, finish to it. And then I'm just using a holographic powder over the top. So that's actually just sticking to the parts where the gel stamping was. So this is another way you can use it. And then I actually had a viewer request um, me to, you know, do some reverse stamping. So I thought I'd actually go ahead and do some reverse stamping too. So I'm just using um, some Beauty Big Bang stamping polishes. So you can use regular polishes too. And I'm just carefully colouring in the image on the um, stamp head now. Because it's a gel um, stamped image, it's not going to be cured or in, and you can actually end up distorting the line. So just sort of go quite easy on it um, and just go gently. You can actually use a dotting tool if you don't feel confident using a brush. And i um, just going to pop that aside once I've finished filling it all in and let that fully dry before I actually do go ahead and transfer it onto the nail. So that's had probably about a good 10-15 minutes to dry and then I'm just popping it straight onto the nail. And I am actually going to top coat all of these swatches off camera. So next up I thought I'd use those 3D gels. So I've actually got some uh, paint brushes too from Beauty Big Bang. Now I did mention earlier at the um, start of the video that I did a review for these, quite an in-depth review for these. And I will link that video for you too. So you can um, go ahead and check that out. And I'm going to be adding this um, beautiful sort of lilac colour onto this um, nail tip here. I'm sorry, I'm sort of at the bottom of the frame. I didn't actually realise when I was um, colouring it. I kind of had to have a bit of um, concentration happening here with it. But anyway, what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of the, um, the lilac to certain parts of that stamped image. And um, I really like how this is actually contrasting against the matte um, top coat that I applied to this um, nail tip earlier. It just makes the 3D metallic gel stand out even more. Now you can add as much or as little as you want to, um, it really is up to you, but I just thought I would just show you how you can incorporate it into a stamped design. Um, we're not always great at freehand, I know I definitely am not very good at freehand, so I do like to use um, something that I've stamped on the nail and that just use that as a bit of a guide. Now I'm going to um, cure that other one in the um, lamp for um, between 30 to 60 seconds, um, 60 seconds for a full cure, especially if you've got areas where you've actually applied the metallic gel quite thick. Um, if you just sort of add real wispy lines or really small dots, I'd be just curing it for probably 30 seconds and that should be enough for it. So I'm just using this minty, um, very, very light green colour on this other um, swatch stick that I did before. And that's just with one of the other marble images um, that was on that plate. So this is just another way you can um, use these gels. I think they're lots and lots of fun. 
Okay, so I'm back with the final swatches. So I've used the red, blue, black and white stamping polishes. And um, as you can see, they had no problems at all stamping. Um, I've stamped them over darker colors, lighter colors, and they've all stamped really well. I'm really pleased with the um, how pigmented they are and how easy they were to use. These are great for people that are just starting out nail stamping as well as um, advanced stampers too, because there's no rush to transfer the image that you've stamped onto the nail. Now the stamping plate worked beautifully too. There's lots of beautiful marble images as you can see there on that um, plate. So it's got six full images and they've all transferred beautifully with those stamping gels. So I've um, sort of upgraded a couple of them. Um, this one here, I added a matte top coat and then I stamped in blue and then you saw me adding the holographic um, powder and that's transferred straight onto the um, part that I'd stamped. So I'd only um, cured it just did a flash cure for I think it was about five or six seconds so it was really really short it left a bit of a tacky coat on there which was just perfect which is exactly what I needed to get the holographic onto there and um, these two here I've used the 3d metallic gels I'll just zoom in a little bit for you and as you can see, they've worked really well. Now this one I've just done straight over a matte top coat. This one had the glossy. I do prefer them on the matte, only because the product itself is quite glossy and um, well, obviously it's metallic and it's nice to actually have a little bit of a contrast there. So this is kind of a cheats way of doing a marble matte, um, nail design. Um, I wanted the stamping plate because I'm not very good at doing um, freehand marble and I thought it'd be quite great to use with the um, metallic gel paints as well. So we've got the lilac color and the green. And then this one here, I had a, um, a viewer request um, me to see whether you could reverse stamp with these gels. And as you can see, you can. Um, probably a marble um, you know, image is probably not the best one to do a reverse stamping with. But anyway, I just used the images that I had. Used um, three um, stamping polishes from Beauty Big Bang just to color them in. I mean, you can use your regular polishes too. I just thought it'd be quite good with the, um, obviously, stamping polishes because they're quite opaque so I let it fully dry on the stamp out obviously the gel part was still wet stamped it onto the nail and then I just cured it for 60 seconds in the lamp just to make sure I'd sort of cured it right the way through and then I've just top coated so you can see some are shiny so I've done a, a glossy top coat and then some of them I've just kind of left them matte um, just to give you a little bit of a contrast and just to sort of show um, how you know nice that these um gel stamping polishes look with a you know like a gloss or a matte finish so don't forget to use my 10 percent off discount code at beauty big bangs it's m a n i mini really easy to use um that will ensure you 10 percent off any of the um, products that they sell at beauty big bangs so take advantage of that of course i'll have direct links for you down below of all the products that i've used and thank you again to beauty big bang for sending these out to me i've really enjoyed using them they're lots of fun and as you can see they're really versatile too and great to use apart from that ladies i'll leave some um, photos for you right at the end and um, if you haven't done so already subscribe to my youtube channel it's free to do so i'm also over on instagram so you'll find direct links for that down below and i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are bye for now